Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Well, um, I had just finished my stream here about 20, 30 minutes ago, and I still have a lot of stuff I need to get taken care of, so I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, I just want to talk about this, uh, brand new PvP that came out, so, and then, um, before I continue, um, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Uh, this is just the next thing that came up on my playlist. This is Adam Orsage, or Bassage. Uh, structures without rooms. So, let me go ahead and get that going. Okay. So, I guess the, uh, the big change to, to PvP here is, uh, Alliance. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave mine, but, uh, when you first do this, you'll have an option between uh, five factions, I think. And you just pick one. I don't... Uh, none of the kingdoms in and of themselves have any kind of buffs or anything like that. Just that um, loyalty factors in. In fact... So the lo the longer you uh, the longer you've been with your faction, the higher in the the, the more you'll rank up. Uh, victory points matters as well. Which really, yeah, Citadel points. And then I believe each week, each week, kind of like uh, kind of like regular PvP, regular PvP ladder. If you can get in the top three by the end of the week, you'll get some gold marks. Alliance is the same way. You get enough Citadel points. With, or if you get within the top three, you'll get more uh, gold marks. And the way you do that is uh, two kingdoms. Like here, it's going to be Glacial Peaks. And then Goblins, the other one, for example. You'll be able to participate in what are uh, Citadel Wars. They work just like uh, regular old PvP battles, but yeah, I don't have any Ziggles. I used up all mine, so I can't actually get into the battle. But yeah, each one will give you uh, various Citadel points. Yeah, I got a 95. And then... I want to say every five battles, uh, you get to fight the Guardian of Stone. Um, and yeah, we got quite the boss too. Uh, completely invulnerable to everything, including curse. 75% uh, skull damage reduction and spells. He's a toughie. And then something else too, something else they added. Each uh, each kingdom now has a certain type of gem that drops. Like in this case here, uh, giant gems. Uh, they're all random colors. Like I'll I'll show you this one here really quick. color giant gems start drop start dropping Carefully. 
but a as you can see, um, big giant gems of different colors start dropping. said um each kingdom is now gonna have uh different types of gems giant gems are in that one um where i've been playing um south wind here lightning gems and don't be surprised if i end up bailing out of this battle early As you can see, um, so there's yellow lightning gems, and there's also gonna be blue lightning gems. Uh, yellow ones, if you match them, destroy them, or explode them, they're uh, they're gonna destroy the column that they're in. Yeah, so we got blue, blue ones. They'll destroy the row that they're in. This one, I got the debuffs off. But yeah, as you can see, just uh, lightning doing its thing. But yeah, like I said, each kingdom is not going to have their own unique kind of gem that drops. Um, everything except for Central Spire, I believe. Yeah, they still nothing or no restrictions, no uh, no extra gems like brown uh, dragon gems. And whoops, I still had to put my team in here. I'm on my notepad right now, um, and I also have a glitchy mouse, so it's it's really hard to highlight stuff. And I hope I kept up to date on this. I have no way about that actually did. So, so kind of the same thing here. Dragon gems are going to be dropping. Badges have failed me, so I started off frozen. But yeah, as you can see, so dragon gems of various colors. seeing here I I kind of low-key like this as long as everything goes your way but uh if it don't you're pretty much hosed but anyway that's um that's the big new thing oh they got the uber doom skulls yeah last week last week it was in the purple kingdom so So, but yeah, that's it. 
But yeah, that's the two big things. Um, Alliance, just do kind of a quickie recap. When you first when you first do this, you gotta pick a color slash faction. Oh, I just now saw this. Yeah, I guess you can actually click on these. Um, but I, yeah, I think they all do pretty much the same thing. All the the guardians, I believe you have to part, you have to do uh, five battles, and have, and on the fifth one you got to fight one of these bosses. Green gems, ouch. And again, I'm yellow. Yeah, like I said, first big thing is the alliance. Works the same as regular PvP. If you can get enough uh, PvP points, or in this case, Citadel points to be in the top three, you'll get more gold marks. And then the second one, like I said, each kingdom now has their own uh, light, or has their own type of gems that's going to drop. Oh, they got the same thing, lightning jumps. For bonus 1%. Not sure what that is. Barrier jump? Well, I've never seen this one before. Um. Whoop, I forgot to set up for that one. I'm not going to be on this one long. I just want to see what the barrier gems look like. I've never seen them before. Okay. Yeah. Never seen him before. Okay, so we'll go ahead and finish off the battle. Yeah. Yeah, those are totally new. I have never seen them before. So. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's going to do it. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and um, I just want to go ahead and uh, make this video about the brand new PvP. Um, and then, like I said, I, there's probably a chance I might have missed a thing or two. Uh, like I said, I'm in kind of a hurry. I still have a whole bunch of other stuff I got to get taken care of. Uh, here within the next few hours before the uh, highway construction kicks in. That's going to be like right behind my apartment complex. So, yeah, I definitely got to lay down while I can. But, uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, dropping. Or, otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.